DMB Tech here. Um, up late tonight. Um, I got a, a message from him to go, and I got a message before, but I just never got around to do it. But I said I guess I'll do a quick video. Um, people have been having problems um, seeing my other video on how to do dial up in Linux. So, well, in any um, Linux distribution. Wow, this may this may only work for the Debian base. Uh, I'm not sure yet though. Um, I know it works for um, Ubuntu, all the ones ever since up to 8.04, because it's the ones I've used, um, and also Linux Mint from 5, is it? 6, not sure. You know what I'm talking about. But um, first we're going to go to either Synaptic Package Manager or Software Center. I'm going to choose Synaptic. Um, hold on, where is my Synaptic at? Oh, yeah. Um, Synaptic Package Manager, okay. You can choose whatever. If you're in Ubuntu, you can also choose Ubuntu Software Center if you want to. It's all up to you. <sighs> boom, 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 boom. Alright, so in. If you're in Synaptic, you need to type in GNOME PPP. You should get this right here, these two options. Um, you're going to right click on this, click more for installation. And you'll go to mark right here. And then you'll hit apply. You'll hit apply once again. And you should see a window that says downloading packages files. Should be one of five downloading, then two of five, then three of five, then four of five, then five of five, and you get the point. Um Yeah, it's not long, it doesn't take long at all. Alright, now it should be installing. God, I'm sleepy. All right, here we go. She said changes applied. It means it's done downloading well, and installing. Okay, so we can close Synaptic now. We can close Synaptic now. We can close Synaptic now. Okay, there we go. Um, we can go to menu if you're in Linux Mint and go to application. But you'll go to um applications if you're in Ubuntu. Then you will go to what would you go to? Maybe internet? Yeah, internet. And the non PPP should be right there. And you should get this small interface that looks like this. It should say username, password, and should number, phone number. Um all this stuff right here should be issued to you by your um um dial up provider. Um in my area we use TEC. Um I used to use dial up but now we have DSL and wireless so I don't have a, a need for this anymore. Um, but yeah, they should give you this information, your username. Like mine was like um, some blah 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 at basespringstail.net for my username. Then my password was none of your business. Then um, the phone number was like whatever phone number they tell you to dial up to. And it should make these odd kind of sounds. All this kind of stuff. Make sure you have your telephone cord plugged in the back now. Um, and you should hit connect. Let me see what it says in setup. Setup, you're just gonna choose your device, your modem, um, what type of the, what type of um, modem you have, tone or pulse. Um, let's see, networking should just leave all that alone. And you can change this like auto reconnect. Maybe your um 
connection just disconnects, you can put auto reconnect, um, and so on, man. You know, if you have any problem with it, let me know. I get back to you as soon as possible. DMB take care. Peace.